So I think the first thing we're going to start out with here is um, w because we're adding these extra USB ports, we need to mark the back plate for for the additional holes which are going to hold the USB ports. So I'm going to mark this right here, right about in the center of that, and right about in the center of that, and then we're going to we're going to drill those so that uh, we have plenty of space for the USB ports. One of the things that makes it easier when drilling this is to use an awl or some other type of sharp device to score the metal where you want to start the drilling. And uh, so that's what I've done here. So the backplate connector is now scored with our new holes. And what we're going to do is quickly fish these things through the grommets ahead of time. It'll save us a little bit of a, some time fishing this stuff through. It's a rather close fit just because you don't want a lot of play and room for dust and other things to get in. So it's a pretty, pretty tight fit where you really want to squeeze these connectors through ahead of time. So these go through our new hole, leaving the connectors on the outside, obviously, of the plate. This is, um, you can put this plate on only one way. You've got this little metal piece here, so you can only put that plate on one way. So that gets mounted there. We'll do another one right over here. All right. So now we have installed four more USB ports. And we'll just set this aside over here for right now. In this case, there are two screws on each side and three screws on the back. So I think we'll fast forward here so that uh, you don't have to be bored with screw openings. Next piece to come out is the hard drive bracket. We're going to install the hard drive here and reinstall this in a few minutes. After we put the hard drive in here, there's four screws on the top. The easiest way to do this hard drive is to, first of all, you want to make sure that you, you, you put the connectors facing out on this side. Uh, pin one is here but you want the connectors to be facing out so that you have plenty of room to get your cable in. And then you want to use find some type of a surface uh, to put this on. I'm going to use a spare case here. You, you really, in general, wouldn't want to use one of these cases to avoid scratching it, but I happen to have a spare one here on the bench. And then um, we're going to use our screw kit that came with the case to screw in the hard drive. Uh, now it's time to go ahead and mount this motherboard, so let's do that. Before we do the motherboard, of course, we have to put in our, our back plate. So the PS2 connectors, if you decide to use them, go over near this red power switch. Okay. We're going to pull these out just to give me plenty of room to get the motherboard in here. It's a very, very tight fit to get the motherboard in. We have about a millimeter to spare. So this is one of those things where you just have to to be patient when you go to install this. Um, take your time, make sure everything's lined up, and um, just slowly push this thing into place, and it should just fall right in. So this plastic plate holds the motherboard out an extra millimeter or so. So the first screw is a little tricky. Um, find something sturdy on the board. I'm going to use this PCI slot to help hold it in place um, and help the hole line up. Uh, you can use a magnetic screwdriver. This one happens to be non-magnetic to screw your screw in. The first one's the hardest um, just because of this, this pressure to align the holes. Um, I'm going to use this printer port now to line this hole. The key, one of the important things with using pushing on the back of these ports to keep things aligned is there's 
a bunch of pins here, and you really don't want to push on them. They're, they're really sensitive, so you want to find something rigid to push on, um, like, like this plastic that's actually attached to the motherboard in order to align the holes. All right, so we have two more screws. One here and one here. Um, while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and plug in our case fan right now into the motherboard header. Um, now it's time.